I've always shopped, always, always, always shopped on sale for designer. I can get something that was seasons ago. I don't care as long as I like it. Hey girl, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shakenya and I like to do videos with beauty, fashion, travel, and mental health. If any of those things are something that you might be interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notification and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment below. So in today's video, I wanted to show you my sunglass collection. It's not a very big collection. I actually thought I had more sunglasses than this, but I guess not. Um, I haven't been buying any sunglasses, to be honest with y'all. Um, one of my pairs of sunglasses that I recently lost in like early spring, I lost in a cab. I left them in a cab, which I didn't really care. They were from Desi. I didn't really care because I needed a new pair. Like they were very loose. They were sliding off my face. So I was like, well, if I don't get them, then, um, if I don't get them back, then whatever. I mean, I do actually miss them because those sunglasses, I feel like I've worn the most because they were like the black into like the gray gradient. They were so nice, but... It is what it is, girl. So while I was editing, I realized that I did not have Desi sunglasses. It was her collab before she even started making sunglasses. Her collab with um, Key, which is spelled Q-U-A-Y. And basically, she just remade the same sunglasses when she made her own sunglass line. So um, I think I'm going to start with the first. Well, these are not sunglasses, but the first pair of glasses I'm going to start with are these glasses. It says, I think this says Amp. Or something like that i don't really know i don't, know if, I don't think y'all gonna be able to see it so let me see i don't know if, if it's folk i can't i don't think it's focusing but yeah these are from amazon i got these a while ago these are just my blue what is it blue lens yeah blue lens glasses for me when i'm on a computer i haven't worn these in a while they're very very dirty i just found them because i have them in, i have all of my sunglasses in my closet i just redid my closet and I just was like, I want to include these in the video because I definitely used these a lot. I used to use them all the time and I'm going to start using them again being that I just pulled them out. So yeah, um, definitely we'll link these down below. They're very affordable. These were about like $14, I think, $12 or $14. I got these in 2022. Yeah, the beginning of 2022. So my next pair of sunglasses, these are from um, Pretty Little Thing. I don't um i don't really i don't really care for these sunglasses i got these because i watched a haul with asian Ari. she had um she had gotten these sunglasses and i thought that they were really cute on her they did look nice on her but i'm not a fan of them really on me i don't know like they look okay but i just feel like very i don't know i feel like a robot with these on so <laughs> i don't wear these um i don't know i might give them away or just have them just in case i might decide to just put them on one day but yeah these are like like i said these are out of stock as well i may find some that's similar just in case somebody wants them i'll look for a pair that's similar and if i find them i will link them um below so my next pair are now these are the rest of them oh no let me do the dupe first i have a dupe i have a dupe um and let me just say this this is why dupes are good because the point of them well a lot of people's point of them which is also my point is to or it's either it's two two reasons you get dupes to see how much you would actually wear it to see if you should invest in the original or if you just feel like it's kind of like a trendy item and you really just don't want to invest that money because it's not going to be like classic and people won't be wearing it for long after like the trend dies down so the um, dupes that I decided to get are these Lueve dupes. I got these from Amazon. I will link them down below. Not, girl, did my face get fat? I'm bigger? Because why these seem like they were just so tight for me to put on my face? These are actually like, I think they look cute and they actually look really cute with my braids. Um, it's funny because I feel like I don't like the way they look on camera from the way I could see it, but I'm not sure. But in the mirror, they look real cute. I don't know y'all let me know what y'all think but these were i don't even know if these was 20 dollars. these probably was like 12 dollars. i think these are a very very good dupe inflation the inflated style i don't know how long that's gonna stick around but i know for sure that there was no way that i would be paying full price for these because i just don't feel like they're going to be this is a trend and i just 
don't feel like it's worth it. And like I said, I don't even, I have not worn these yet. And I got these last year. Uh, I don't remember what month it was, but I got them last year. And yeah, I have not worn them outside yet. All right, so now moving on to designer sunglasses. I'm gonna first start with these Gucci frames. This is what they look like. And you're gonna see that most of my sunglasses are like the square lens or uh, what is it called? Square lens or or rectangle or rectangle, but most of them are square. Another thing I just really noticed too. When did okay? First of all, these my friend found at work when we worked in the airport. And she gave them to me. So, um, yeah. These are cute. I never wear these either. Like, I never pick these up. Never. I never go to these to put them on. I don't know why. Um, I like Gucci, but I'm just not really, like, I don't really buy things that are Gucci. I don't think I have anything that's Gucci besides these sunglasses. Uh, I'm trying to think. I had some sandals before, but those they got messed up fast and another thing too like, like the bags they break a lot a lot of people that i know they always have to go to get repairs and it's just too much and i just don't want to deal with that so if i'm going to invest my money to something or even if it's a gift i want it to last so yeah that's mostly why i don't really invest into gucci items i did though want the gucci platforms and i still actually think i want those if i'm able to get them in the denim color but yeah other than that i don't i don't invest into gucci Nothing against the brand, like, I don't think, like, um, because I've been seeing these videos lately about, um, about brands and, like, oh, which, oh, oh, like, people are saying that Gucci is overrated, and I'm, like, I don't think it's overrated, I mean, everybody wears everything, you wear just what you wear and what you like, but I just don't like the, like I said, the, um, the wear and tear is just not good. Um, and I just thought about something when I said, oh, I thought I had more sunglasses because I was about to, because I said to you guys, I have a lot of square and rectangle frames. I did have, I had two pair of Ray-Bans. One of them I gave away. They were a mirror lens and they were, um, orange. But what I did notice, I had those, I got those years ago. They was too small for my face. I started to notice that after a while because with Ray-Ban, like back then, that's when I first started like buying a lot of sunglasses because I really do like sunglasses. But when I first started buying them, I didn't really pay attention to like the sizes of the lens. Like they definitely do come in different sizes. And I feel like oversized looks better on my face when it comes to aviator or just like a medium size. I have I don't know the sizes. So from now on, when I start to shop for them, I'm definitely going to look out for that. And then I'll let you guys know like moving forward in, in future videos. But definitely not like a smaller, a smaller um, lens it's not gonna it does not look good on my face because especially when my face is full but even when it's not like when I don't have weight on me they just don't look good so I had those and then I had another pair that was gradient blue and those were broken so don't have those anymore but that's what I wanted to really just say because those are my favorite style of sunglasses they look the best on my face they're the most flattering and unfortunately I don't have a pair of aviators here to show you guys on me but anyways um moving along the next pair of sunglasses I'm gonna show you guys are my tom ford sunglasses these are very old as well i have not so the the last three sunglasses that i'm going to show you those are my most newest sunglasses but i haven't um other than that like i haven't really been buying sunglasses because i don't even go outside like that uh these are kind of small too these are oh these are very small for my face these are very small for my face y'all my face got bigger my face got bigger because these was not tight like this on my face. And they definitely did not look this, this small on my face either. Like, these look like American wear these. If you've never seen my videos before, Amir is my son. Amir could definitely wear these sunglasses because what? These look like little tiny. These look crazy. Like, yeah, this is not it. Like, I need bigger lenses on my face. Um, Is it lenses or frames? I don't know. Anyways, y'all know what I mean. Cause I'm like, wait, is it a lens or is it a frame? Am I thinking about a camera? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know the name of these. I really don't, I'm sorry. I don't know the name of these, but I got these on sale. That's what I do know. I got these on sale. I did not pay full price for them. Um, what other ones did I get on sale? My Celine's. These Phoebe Philo's. I don't remember how much I got them on sale for, but this was when Phoebe Philo was doing the designs at Celine and Honey. 
These are probably, if not, let me see. Are these my favorite sunglasses? They are. These are my favorite sunglasses. These look good on me. These are very close to aviator style. They're not quite aviators, but they are. They're square, like I said, square lens. But these just look good. Like these look like. These really look like I would be in like a drop top. Yeah, yeah. Riding down the street. Mm -hmm. In a drop top, hair blown in the wind, going shopping on Rodeo. That's that's the vibes that I'm getting from these. Like these are really. I just really like them. I like the gold. And just the green, like green looks really good on me. So green is one of my one of my very good colors. And it's green is about to become one of my favorite colors. It's crazy because green and gold looks really good on me. But yeah, I really like green. And um coral also looks really good on me. But these are these are these are my favorite. And then my other favorites I would say is my Chanel's, but we'll get to those. Okay. So these are another pair of Phoebe, Phoebe Philo um, Celine's that I have. Oh, I'm just thinking about it now. So these I paid. No, these I had. I got on a discount because my friend at the time he was working at Bloomingdale's. Was it Bloomingdale's? Bloomingdale's? Yeah, Bloomingdale's. And I used his discount, but these still wasn't cheap. These were I paid about like I don't. I think I paid like four something for them. Not even three something. Like four something. Um, this was in uh, twenty. Ooh, when was that? 20, like 13, 2014, somewhere around there. I don't remember, but I'll let you guys know. And um, I'm sure that somebody has these somewhere. They might have them like um, on a website where you can find them like some uh, old pair. But yeah, these and honestly, these look really good on my face now because my face was much smaller then and these were full of my face. They looked really, really big because I do have another color. And these ones I actually got on sale too. I bought, I found these on sale. Um, but not with my friend's discount. So I found these on my own. But I feel like when I got first got these, they were, to me, smaller than, than these. I wore these when I went to Dubai. So actually, I got these in 2015 because that's when I went to Dubai. In 2015. So yeah, that just I just remembered. And then I think I got these that the December of the same year, 2015. Yeah, I'm gonna start wearing these again because these these are I like these a lot. These look good on me. They look good with my hairstyle. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Phoebe was doing her thing when she was at Celine. She definitely was. I don't check this. Let me see something because I know I'm not tripping. Because I've been doing my fashion research again, um, getting back into fashion. Because let me see something. Give me one second. Katie Slimane, the French designer and creative director of Celine who yesterday evening. Yeah, so she's the creative director right now, Celine. But at that time, Phoebe Philo was. Um, I was, but anyway, I was saying that I'm just getting back into my fashion bag. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fashion content coming. So I'm trying to be as consistent as I can with that. This is gonna be my first video introducing any type of. No, this is not. What am I talking about? I did fashion content when I was like doing my style, my outfit with me, and the boots and stuff. But this is me getting back into that because I feel like these videos will not feel like, but clearly on my channel anything that i do with fashion um it gets the it gets those are the those are the videos that gets viewed the most so that being said might as well stick to something that i love which um i've always been a girl that's been into fashion just i said it before that with my weight fluctuating like now that i, I am a little bit heavier than i was before i just um i don't know like i just don't feel as comfortable on camera like with my weight but i said you know what I'm not, I want to get out of the thing of, I'll do this when this, like, oh, I'll do this when I lose weight. I'll do try on holes when I lose weight. I'll do this fashion content and talk about this and that when I, it's like, girl, at this point, no, just do it. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's get to it. So, yeah, so here we are with the sunglass video. But, um, like I said, I love, love, love the sunglasses that Phoebe Philo, um, Designed like when she was the creative di the creative director at Celine, and yeah, some definitely some of my faves. But these are for sure my faves. These are for sure, and these came in pink. And what other colors did they come in? Oh, brown. Ooh, if I could get my hands on those, if I can get my hands on these in the brown, because it was the brown gradient, 
even the pink ones because i need pink sunglasses too if i could get my my hands on those two i wouldn't even buy any other pink frames because i really need a pair of sunglasses that have pink um well no pink lenses pink lenses i need a pink lens um sunglass and i also i also do need brown i need brown as well brown and gold um yeah i did have a pair from uh 521 but i don't know what happened to those that was that was a long time ago so now let's see i'm gonna do now for the last three i'm gonna do from my least favorite to favorite doesn't mean that i don't like them i just like i just have my favorites and you know like this is out of out of the the next three first of all where was these sunglasses at i wore these in jamaica the last time i wore them i think these all my sunglasses are filthy. They have water stains on them. This is disgusting. Get it together, girl. So, these are my Christian Dior sunglasses. Um, yeah, I got these in 2021. Yeah, I got these in 2021. It's the usual, the square, square shaped sunglasses like that I always have. Like I said, I have a few, a few square shape. These really, Amir's dad got these for me to match the sandals and the bag that he got me so yeah so i can be a fashionable girl wait a minute how much were these i don't know how much these were and i don't know the name of them but i can find a name for you and when i find the name of them i will put them up on the screen and i'm also going to link them below if i can find them anywhere because i don't see them uh, i don't know if they still are making that this style they might be though they might be okay now really technically technically i'm trying to think technically these are probably my favorite but the other ones i just love them so much but i just don't like how they look on my face but these oh my goodness oh my goodness i love chanel i love chanel and to be honest with you i just love chanel i just love chanel I just love Chanel. Like, I don't know what it is. I just really love Chanel. Like, I just... Chanel is just so classy. It's just so classy and so expensive. So classy, though. And I'm just like... Oh, I said it in one of my other videos. When I'm able to afford all the Chanel that I want... Oh, it's going to be... I'm going to have me a time. I'm going to have me a time shopping. But, um... Yeah, these are my oh man i love these i love these so much i saw these when we were in bird of goodman and then we came home and then i was like mm, can you get those sunglasses for me because i want those and then amir's dad he came home with them for me so a few days later or something like that i don't know a day later i don't know but yeah i was really happy to get these i really really like these i really 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 like these and last but certainly not least i have these chanel i mean what dior shield sunglasses okay these let me tell y'all about these okay let me tell y'all about these so these come in pink as well these are like oh like all of the it girls on youtube had these kyra had these damn it i don't know if Aaliyah did Aaliyah have these i can't remember i, I, I believe Aaliyah did have these um brie had these like these Shayna, oh my god but they don't look to me they don't look right on me right now actually they don't look bad i don't know how they look to y'all but i don't know like i wanted them so bad if y'all could see they're still these are brand new i've never worn them they have a still have the plastic here on them i was actually gonna sell them and i don't know if i am still gonna sell them but oh my goodness oh my goodness i just love these i love them my girl that I always tell you about, Jarenica, she's in New Orleans. She has these. She has them in black and in pink. But when I when did I get these? I got these in 2021. Yeah. I got these in 2021 too. Girl, I love these sunglasses. They just make you feel like, what? Like, I don't know. These make me feel like I'm in a music video. Like, I don't know. Like, these are just, these just do it for me. But, and I kind of feel like they look better with my face now because it's fuller. 
um but i don't know like i just don't i don't really love them on me i'm just gonna be honest with y'all i just don't think that they look that great on me maybe once i edit the video and i can really see what it looks like on screen then i'll think that they look better but i just don't think that they look that great on me so that's like heartbreaking because i've had so many different hairstyles i've had my hair in a like um a weave with a middle part i don't know i don't maybe should i i don't know when people say buzz down middle part i don't i don't like that i don't know why but i don't like that i don't because mm, where did that even come from but yeah like the middle part um long weave like wig whatever and they still didn't they still didn't give i don't know but right now to me they look they look okay like i do feel a little bit like robotic again like the way the other ones from pretty little things um made me feel these but these are just mm. like these are like fly girl sunglasses for real like i'm a fly girl and i love this so yeah um i don't i don't think i'm gonna sell them i was definitely going to but i don't think i am and they are and these are i think yeah these are called so light um dior so lights but they are shield sunglasses like i said and and let me tell y'all something these i believe was the last pair that they had on essence i got these on essence i'm gonna find the email so i could show y'all how much i paid for them um and i'll put it on the screen these were the last pair because they were sold out. So I realized that I actually did not get these on sale. I thought they did, so I'm sorry about that. I could not find them in black, but I did link the pink ones in the description box. Also, I realized that I had some Mew Mew sunglasses that I have no idea where they are. I did see them earlier this year, but I have no idea where they are now. So if I can find those, I'll also link those below. I went on there, they were sold out, and then I think maybe somebody returned them and they popped back up there real fast and I got them. And then I have never, I've never worn them since i got them because i just didn't like how they looked on me and i was like wow i went through all of that and i don't even like them because usually i go into a store and i try on sunglasses sunglasses in my opinion unless you already know like aviators aviators i can never go wrong with those right but um let me see oh no it says essence on here but it doesn't tell the it doesn't tell the price on here um oh these um dior's these are 380 the blue ones um but yeah anyways Dang, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I, sorry. So I got so wrapped up in the pricing and the tag, the, the stickers on the side. But yeah, I just, um, I really love those. And yeah, I never wore them because I didn't like how they looked on me. But I'm going to try my best not to sell them because I want to wear them. I just hope, maybe, like I said, if I look back at the, once I edit this video, if I think they look cute like that, then I'll wear them. But I need somewhere to wear them too. That's the thing. Where am I going? Because I need plans. I need plans. So, yeah, that's it for my um, sunglass video, my collect my sunglass collection video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it wasn't too short. Um, I mean, I don't know. It was just I was just trying to show y'all what I have. Like I said, it's not it's not a lot, but I'm grateful for the collection that I do have because I feel like I do have some nice ones. Um, moving forward, though, before I go, I do want to say. Um, Lorve, I want to shop on there. That is black owned. If you don't know, I'm sure that anybody watching this most likely does know um, Diara. She, um, that's her um, sunglass brand. She has a lot of nice sunglasses. I do right now need sunglasses that have a pink frame. Uh, I mean, pink lens. Um, like I said, brown. And I also want to get a pair that have yellow lens. She has a pair on her website that are navy blue. The frame is navy blue. Yeah, that's what it is. The frame is navy blue and the lens is yellow. So, I like those, but that's the only thing. See, those you can't try them in person. I don't know. So, I don't know if I'm going to go with those because I don't know if I want navy blue with yellow or if I want to do black with yellow lenses. I don't know yet. But I definitely want to get... A pair or two from her um before the sum is out hopefully i don't know if i am gonna get one because it just depends like i just really right now i'm being very, not even right now in general moving forward that's that's my plan to be more intentional with my shopping because just to let you in on a little secret i have an obsession with bathing suits and i at one point in time in my life i know this might sound crazy but i literally had more bathing suits than i had clothes because i'm like all I did was work, like I always say this, all I did was work literally and go on vacation. So I just used to always shop for like summertime stuff and bathing suits was just what I had the most. I have a lot of resort wear, 
well i had because i threw away all of my clothes after when well, once i got pregnant but i'm just like a girl where like i didn't really have whenever i need something to wear i'll just go out and buy an outfit but all of the clothes like the majority of the clothes that i had was always summer clothes because i was just always either outside in the summer or i just i don't know i just like i just feel like i dress the best in the summer and traveling somewhere so those are just the type of clothes that i had so right now i'm making sure that moving forward i'm shopping with intention and also shopping continuing to shop on sale I always shopped on sale always 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 people don't know that because i've never like did videos and talked about oh what I, how i was shopping and stuff like that but um i mean people that that know me know because i tell them but um yeah i've always shopped always 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 shop on sale for designer i only pay full price for anything if there's no way possible like that i'm gonna get it on sale and it's like well i just gotta get it because it's just gonna sell out and i don't know when i'm, I'm gonna be able to get it again other than that i'm always gonna shop at sale so i want to do some like a lot of content with that too showing y'all how i shop and things like that and also um to shira politics and fashion she talks about that a lot too so if you don't know who that is i'm definitely gonna link her channel below so you can check her out she talks about not paying designer i mean full price for designer because you shouldn't you should not if you don't have to it doesn't make sense like if you don't absolutely have to then why do it and really you never have to it just depends on like what you want to wear um if you want to just always wear them current things because sometimes those things are not gonna go on sale or if they do then by the time it does they don't have your size but um I'm a person who like I don't care about wearing it doesn't have to be things that are currently trending or current like just like not even trending in season I can get something that was seasons ago I don't care as long as I like it but um yeah we're gonna definitely do more videos talking about those things and sharing a lot of fashion stuff so um thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one and like I said don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a comment below give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications and I'll see you in the next one